Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. We have a review for you on the Asus Tough. Uh, this is the F17 2022 model, actually. Uh, this one was made February 2022. So the 2021s, from what I've seen, um, you could actually put three drives in it. Two NVMEs and one SSD uh, laptop style drive. Um, this one, however... The, the cutouts are all there because they didn't change anything. What they did was not include a cable. They didn't include a bracket, nor did they include the port on the motherboard on this one to support the SSD. But we still got our two NVMe slots, which are both occupied. I've already put a one terabyte Western digital drive that eh, goes pretty good. It's rated for 35 by 3000. And... Um, Wow, it's uh, actually going above spec for speed, so that's pretty encouraging. Um, so I cloned it. I cloned the 500 into the, the one terabyte, went seamlessly, used Macrium, Ref Macrium Reflect as always. Best program out there for easy cloning of your drives. Um, and so now the 500 that came with it is still in there, but it's now a dump drive. Uh, for backing up stuff or what have you and uh, that really helped out because I installed Skyrim Anniversary Edition last night uh, when I was gaming at my buddy's place because we're now playing with Skyrim and Dungeon Lords but we uh, had to do some mod packs and other stuff in order to get Skyrim to go multiplayer because it's normally not a multiplayer game but enough of that let's talk about the laptop so we have a 17.3 inch 1080p screen so 1920 by 1080 at 144 hertz 250 nits of brightness which i gotta be honest with you i don't know why anybody would whine about it which a couple of channels did it's it's fantastic um even in gaming i've had zero issues with seeing stuff and um, it's really, really nice, you know, um, and I'm not even running full brightness, you know, and it is really flipping nice. Um, so I don't know, but, um, anyways, you know, to each their own. Uh, I will be doing uh, a video, um, of doing screen recordings of some of the games that I play. Um, just short little snippets, maybe a couple minutes a piece, just so you get an idea of, the on-screen uh, quality of this thing a little bit better and because uh, you can only so so much even through a DSLR camera so you know um, but um, it, it is very very nice gaming machine now it does have an Intel 11th generation i7 8 core processor at 2.3 gigahertz with a maximum overclock of 4.6 which is actually a little snappier than my Ryzen 7. It was actually an 8-core uh, 3.2 with an overclock of 4.1. Um, and um, yeah, this thing's a lot snappier. Even the video, of course, is way better than this thing because uh, it is NVIDIA graphics. And even at that 4 gigs of NVIDIA, it is quite, quite nice. Uh, very, very impressed with this thing. Um, even Cyberpunk runs like a dream on this machine. Um, and yes, we're running Windows 11. It actually comes with it, uh, factory set up. And um, I did an FPS test on Cyberpunk, and it's actually running a little over 65 frames per second. Um, and that's at high to ultra high settings mixture um, at the 1080p. And that is really good because by the time... Um, you know, Windows 11, uh, when I first tried it out, of course it had bugs like anything else. You go back to 10, a few months later, go back to 11, try it again, get some more updates. Next thing you know, Cyberpunk went to the snot bags. Uh, even at 1080p in the lowest settings, I couldn't get past 21, 22 FPS out of it. Um, so I went back to Windows 10, and then Windows 10 was fine until the update hit. And whatever that did, it did the same bloody thing to me. And that got me really pissed. So I got tired of this garbage and I thought, you know what? I'm done. Um, and uh, I kind of swore off PCs. But now, of course, I've got an $1,800 laptop sitting on my table here, shaking my head going, why? No, it's because I missed playing my games. 
and the Macintosh um, M1 series and even the M2s, they absolutely suck when it comes to gaming. I'm sorry. Uh, I am an Apple fanatic uh, heart to heart uh, through the core, but R Apple has done a, a lot of stuff with these M1 chips that has really crippled them in the gaming market. And even an old game like Tomb Ra Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I mean, even their five thousand dollar well, they'd be five grand in Canada, but in the U.S., four grand for their Studio Ultra, even as a base level machine, which has tons of RAM, tons of processing cores, tons of GPU cores. The best it can do is like 115 FPS at medium graphics and 1080p. That is ridiculously sad, you know. So. Um, yeah, anyways, I guess we'll have to let Apple have a few more years plugging away and maybe they'll smarten up their act and maybe listen to a few of my videos of comments I've made of what they could do to fix their problem and then they become more or less like gaming kings at that point. Um, but uh, they do say they want to get really into the gaming, but uh, yeah, that's yet to be seen. So, um, in the meantime, I'm going back to PC World for my gaming aspects, and but for everything else, I will definitely stick 100% with the M1s because they are freaking phenomenally faster than any of the Intel Macs um, when it comes to uh, video editing, desktop publishing, you know, the drill and audio stuff, right? That's their strongest suit, and I do a lot of that stuff, so I need the Mac for that. But for everything else like gaming, yep, it's going to be done in the PC world. And I decided to go with a laptop this time. And because uh, the prices of the desktops are getting ludicrous out there. And I don't need all that fancy freaking stupid lighting anyways. Other than, well, I got a lit keyboard in this one. But, you know, I like it. Uh, I do like light up keyboards and I did figure out how to change my static color to anything I want. I do have a tutorial by the way on the Armory software that comes with this um, and they, they have actually done an update to it. Um, I should actually show you that. It's a little different than my original video. The interface kind of got changed a little bit. Um, and in here too, they tell you the memory frequency, which is kind of nice because the BIOS doesn't. And I'm like, um, I need more RAM because Cyberpunk wants 16 gigabytes of RAM just to itself. And this thing only came with 16 gigs. And Windows is chewing up like six and a half gigs to itself, right? I mean, it tells you right here. And the only thing I got running is the OS and this puny little thing. And we're at six and a half gigs. So I don't really technically have enough RAM for Cyberpunk to run full out for the RAM requirements that it recommends on. So it puts you into virtual memory, right? And that means SSD torture, which will burn up your SSD drives because SSDs are not made to handle that kind of torture. So, you know, we have to take these things into to account. Um, and uh, so I, I just finished ordering actually um, a upgrade of 32 gig of RAM. So I'm going to drop two 16s in this thing and um, that'll definitely solve my, my issues for lack of RAM for any of the games at least for a while. Um, hopefully a good long while. But uh, good news is this thing will max out at 64 gigabytes of RAM top end. So if I ever did need more RAM again, I can just buy 232s and be done with it. Um, anyways, but in the meantime, I have done a tour of this program, so we don't need to talk about that anymore. Now, we do have a camera built into this thing, obviously. It's a webcam. And yeah, the picture quality on this thing actually kind of really sucks. Um, Apple does a much better job with their 720p cameras, like about 500% better. This is not appealing for today's technology. Okay, they should have gone A with 1080p and B with a higher megapixel, or at least at 720p, you know, more than less than a megapixel. I mean, come on, seriously? A 5 megapixel 720p would have been fantastic, especially with the kind of money these things cost. Um, so I'm not really impressed with the camera, but I really don't care either um, because if I'm going to do webcam stuff, I'll do it on my Mac because with the new Mac OS coming out, I'll actually be able to use the 4K cameras on my iPhone uh, in order to use them as a wireless webcam. So, hey, bonus. Um, so I don't really care about the webcam on here. But 
it does work. It does its job. Um, this thing also has AI noise canceling system, two fans, of course, one honker for the um, CPU and one for the GPU, and yes, they are honking fans. I've had this thing apart, obviously, because I put a one terabyte drive in it already. Um, so now I have the two NVMEs in there. Wi-Fi 6, really nice. Very fast, too, by the way, uh, with our internet connection. I am really impressed with the speed of the wireless in this thing. It does a great job. The NVIDIA RTX um, 3050 video card, it is not the TI, it's the regular 3050. Phenomenal, just a beautiful. And we have DirectX Extreme um, capability in this thing too, uh, which is also nice. HDMI 2.0, that was a little surprising because the PC world's been using HDMI 2.1 for quite a while now. Apple just got into 2.1, but we got 2.0. But who cares, whatever, it works, right? That's the idea. We also have two USB type A slots. We've got a ethernet port as well. We have a uh, Thunderbolt slash type C port. So that's great if you wanna use Thunderbolt devices. Um, also the headphone jack. And on the other side, we have one type A USB uh, port as well. Uh, anyway, so I'm sure some of you might want to hear how crappy the audio is on this thing. So let's fire up my ever favorite and loving game, Far Cry, because it's going to give you a pretty good idea on what the built-in speakers are like. And uh, first we got to unplug those speakers because those are the good ones. And the speakers, by the way, are currently set full blast, okay? Uh, just because I'm going through my Mackie monitor so I can control the volume from there. Uh, but anyways, so let's go to my last little episode here. Um, this is where I'm actually in a spot where I'm getting my butt handed to me quite a bit right now. Oh, we didn't get our audio back. We're going to have to uh, quit and then relaunch. Okay, now we should have our... Um, there we go. Now, it is loud enough that if you're in a quiet room like I am right now, it's perfectly fine. If you're playing with a bunch of your buddies and people won't shut the heck up, you're not going to hear much. It's going to get really swapped out for the built-in audio pretty quick. Help all you want, you're dead anyhow. I know, I'm so dead. I got more of this. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Help me. I'm gonna get killed. Yeah, yeah. Come on, he's gonna make it in here. Good. I've been trying to get through this for the last, well, since yesterday, anyway. So you can hear it's not all that loud. But the picture quality on this is quite nice. I am really impressed with it. For 1080p, that is pretty darn impressive. shots and the chopper will take off. Here we go. Uh -oh. Ah, I'm dead. 
I tried. All right, so you got a pretty good basis, hopefully, out of that. So the onboard speakers are not the greatest sounding, and that was full blast. Um, so I'm not, I can't say I'm overly excited about the built-in speakers. Um, you'd be better off with a good set of external speakers of some sort or headphones, uh, especially when you're doing games. Um, even watching videos, unless you're doing that in a really quiet area, um, yeah, anybody who's talking to you is going to like mess up your video you were trying to listen to. But, uh, so not, not the world's best, okay? Um, I am dinging some things here, obviously. The 250 nits of brightness doesn't bother me at all. I don't know why anybody's whining about it because I have no issues with the brightness control. I'm still not up to full brightness. I'm about three quarters of the way up, which I find is nice and comfy. Um, I don't think I really want it any brighter. But the, the, the pixelation of the resolution of the screen for, for a 1080 uh, P is really, really nice and solid. I mean, it's clean. Uh, it is not at all what I expected. I expected to have to run an external better display on this thing all the time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really impressed with the screen there. Um, so we're all good to go. Now, as far as I'm concerned, um, in the end result of all this though, um, I do feel that the, the computer does deserve a lot of great marks. Um, but I, I really can't push it too high on the star rating here. You know, you're not going to get a five because nothing's perfect, but I will give it a four and a quarter. And the reason for that is because I do have an issue with the sound being not that great, even for a laptop. I've had better laptops, non-gamer and gamer laptops before that were way better than this. Okay. That's number one. Um, number two, the camera absolutely sucks. Okay. I mean, they could have done a much better job. I mean, seriously, this is 2022 technology. They have the better cameras they could have put in for what they charge us for these things. I mean, come on. I mean, this is just, I don't know, but it could have used a much better, even at 720p, a five megapixel 720p would have been perfect. Um, easy to upgrade stuff. Um, it's not that hard to get the back cover off. Uh, that's pretty simple. Um, so easy to upgrade. You do have that upgrade ability in this thing, which is nice. You know, it is user upgradable uh, that you can do. Um, definitely a lot there for the money in, in a lot of the, the good sides, right? Uh, for a gaming laptop without spending, you know, three times this kind of money, it's, it's really quite, quite good. You know, I, I'm sure I'm going to be happy with it for you know, till the end of its life cycle anyways. Um, but um, the only other thing I can say about this thing, um, I guess would be the lid, right? They call these military grade class. That is nothing more than a marketing scam. This is an aluminum top, yes. The rest of the computer is plastic and it's anodized aluminum and it does scuff really easy. I've already got a couple of little light scuffs in there it didn't take much to scuff that. That was kind of a little disappointment. But I guess that's another reason why they give you a pile of stickers to dress up your computer with so that you can cover those little boo-boos. You know what I mean? But I'm not putting stickers all over my laptop. You know, I, I'm, I, I like games. I am a gamer. But yeah, there's a limit to what I'll even do with stickers. So I'll find another use for those. But, you know, going to sleep, waking back up, I mean, it's pretty quick. It's pretty much instantaneous. Um, that's fine. So anyway, um, that's where we're at with it. But do I recommend it in total? Yes, I think it's great. If you can live with a sucky camera and just buy something that's better, great. If you can live with the poor level and sound quality of the speakers, not the best speaker sound, um, and you can't say, oh, but it's a laptop. Have you ever listened to the speakers in some of the higher end Mac laptops that are even in this price range? They sound freaking phenomenal in comparison. Okay. So don't say anything bad about me saying anything about speakers because Mac Apple does a much better job. Okay. And a lot more volume level too. So they could have done the same here. It doesn't take that much. Right. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, that's, that's, 
I guess that's pretty much it. My my two biggest complaints are are definitely the speakers and um, the the camera socks. Okay, um, that would be about it. Otherwise, I'm quite quite happy with it, and I don't regret my purchase. And knowing what I know, I would do it again. Um, you know, so that's that's not a the question at all. So you know, that's not putting that into any kind of question. Uh, I would definitely do it again. You know, knowing what I know now. So I would definitely, yes, recommend this laptop. Um, now, if you have a problem with 250 nits of brightness, then don't buy it, okay? Um, I don't have an issue with the, the brightness level. I think it works absolutely fantastic. Um, it's not a video editing machine because of the lack of brightness. Um, you do need a lot more than 250 nits. Um, you do need a lot tighter resolution. You do need a higher uh, quality color palette. Um, and that could get you into something like a multi-thousand dollar laptop, something around four, five, maybe eight thousand dollar laptop. Uh, if you wanted something that would have that kind of horsepower and quality to hopefully uh, get you a lot better quality when it comes to doing that sort of stuff. But for gaming wise, it is more than sufficient for, for your gaming needs in my personal opinion but um, you would have to try one out for yourself, to be honest. But like I said, stay tuned. I got some videos coming uh, where I'm gonna screenshot, record them, uh, some of my games, so you can see how, how things are yourself. Um, of course, some of that is subjective because the quality of your screen makes a difference at what you view anyhow. Um, so, uh, but you'll get a rough idea at least, um, you know. But uh, anyways, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and staying tuned here. Um, and do stay tuned for more videos on this laptop. We do have a lot more testing to do. Um, also, uh, I want to do some videos of average FPS on games. Um, I'm going to do probably a couple of little snippets ahead of time before I do the RAM upgrade, especially on Cyberpunk. I want to see if it's really going to be beneficial because uh, I know about where Cyberpunk's running now. Um, you know, it's averaging 50s to 65s. Um, is kind of where it fluctuates with. Um, and one last thing before we go, in case you didn't know this, on Windows 10 and Windows 11, if you hold down the, um, what is it, function, uh, the Windows, nope, um, I believe it's function G, no, nope, Windows key G, window key G. Uh, window key G gets you FPS, and to track FPS in a game, uh, to keep it running, click on the little pin so that it pins it, and then this way, when you go back, it's up here already, ready to go. Launch your game, and it'll set itself up and track your FPS in your game for you. And if you want to get out of that after you've done your game, just go activate that uh, console again, unpin it, click, you're done. Um, that's built right into Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, anyways, so uh, thanks again, and we'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.